hello guys in this video i will show you how to create the custom block programmatically in a drupal 8 or 9 so now we will create one block and a hello world block that will be the simple block and in that block we will show the hello world message and uh, we will display that block just below this search block okay so before that uh, creating this block we need to create the custom module so I have already created the how to create the custom module in a Drupal so you can check the video for that I will add the that video link in the description of the this video so in that video I already created the hello world module custom module and uh, now I will create one custom block inside this module for that we need to create the folder inside the source directory first folder name is the plugin and uh, inside plugin folder create one more folder block now inside this block folder we will write the custom block code for that we will add one more file the file name is the hello world block PHP and inside this file we will write the block code so first I will write the namespace namespace is the Drupal hello world plugin block now I will load one class that is the block base Drupal core block block base now we write the annotation for that block so this block provides hello world block After that we will add the block attributes so block attributes are first will be the ID ID means the machine name and this should be the unique throughout your project next is the admin label This admin label means it is the title of your block next is the category first before that we need to add this add delete translation and for the category attribute also we need to add translation custom block for hello world ok so I will explain this one more time id will be the machine name admin label this will be the your block title and the category is the description about the block okay now we will create one class 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 name should be similar to the your block uh, your file name hello world file so my file name is hello world block dot php extends block base inside that uh, we need to add the inherit talk add it right. 
now we will create the one function that function is the required function public function build so this function is the required function to create any block and uh, now inside the block this uh, function will return one markup with the message hello world so return array type markup and uh, hash markup this will be the our message now we will print the hello world message inside that block So first clear the cache so that your block will be visible inside the structure block uh, page. So for that I will clear the cache using the drush command is drush here. Now you can see the cache rebuild is complete and the cache is clear. Now go to the website backend, click on the structure and go to the block layout. And now we want to place that block inside the, the sidebar first below the search, uh, search block for so that uh, click on this place block button now search for the hello world block so here you can see the this will be the title and this category so this title is coming from the this section of the our block hello world block and uh, this category is the description of the block now click on this place block so do you want to display the title you can check mark this display title or if you want to hide this you can hide this and check to hide this title so I want to show that block only on the front page I will add the page on which I want to show the, this block and region will be the sidebar first click on the save block button scroll down and save blocks now go to the home page of our website and refresh the page you can see the message which we have added inside the this markup is visible in the block and here it is the title of the block now this is the static block now I want to show the some dynamic content check uh, one video uh, which I have created how to fetch the uh, API data using the gate method so in that uh, I have fetched some data from this external website on my website so I will show you how that data display so the routing for that uh, page is gate get facts uh, I'll show you that page I will load this page and I will show you the you can see this is the data coming from the this third party website and I am fetching this data using the API and uh, if you refresh again it will show the dynamic data you can see on the refresh you will get the different data so now I want to show this data inside that block for that uh, we will create the dynamic block so I will use the same same block for that functionality 
first I will call this API inside the block for that I will use the API control class Drupal hello world controller API controller now I will create the object of this API that API name is the cat fact so I will create the cat fact object equal to new API controller I will create one more video uh, variable to get that data back data equal to this object and we call this method from this controller the method name is the get fact and uh, you can see it returns the array and uh, inside the array the index is the fact so we will display this array index here dollar fact data that index of that array save it it should be the comma save it now again clear the cache and go to the page home page of the website it should show the data from that API So it is showing one error and uh, I got that error here I spelled the controller name as uh, uh, I missed the R inside the controller uh, I will save it and again clear the cache cache are clear now now I will refresh this page Now after refreshing you can see that we are getting the this content from that external website. Now I will refresh it again. So right now you can see the issue is the content is not uh, refreshing. We are getting the static content because of the cache. So we can now we can see how to disable the cache for the blocks. For that we will add one more tag hash cache max h zero. I will refresh this page. So now the page you can see the now we are getting the different message now again I will refresh this page you can see the message is changed so right now on the each refresh we are getting the different message means we are now getting the data from the API so in this video we saw the three things I create first create the static block I can create the dynamic block and uh, in that dynamic block we have display the content from the third party using the API so you can see 
video of these details so i have created one video how to get the data from the api on the third party website i will add the link also in the description and uh, third thing is how to disable the cache for the blocks so i hope you like the video please uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel